Hello everyone, today we have Mary Elena Murphy who graduated from Warmbur College in 2010 with a degree in business ethics and social responsibility. So the first question we have for you is what attracted you to study at Warmbur? Um, for me, the most important thing was the degree that was offered. Uh, not many universities had this degree on offer at the time that I was uh, looking. I lived in the Netherlands at that time and I, and I really couldn't find anything that was as flexible enough uh, as what Warrenborough offered. So for me, it was that flexibility and the attractiveness of the programme itself. As a business master's graduate, can you tell us a bit about your overall learning experience at Warmbra? Um, it was a really, really good experience from the moment of enrolment, the support I got from the staff at uh, Warmbra. And I particularly really enjoyed the cooperation I had with uh, the professor I had, whose name is Paul. But that was really um, yeah, very, very special for me and very genuine. And it was very supportive and very motivating. So I think that um, that for me, that learning experience, how that interaction went, got the most out of me. So it really pushed me and, and drove me, even though it was a distance learning program and one could feel uh, there alone. I, I didn't. I always had the backup of the support staff and the backup of the professor and the buddy system as well. So it was a very positive learning experience. As well as your academic experience, what other factors do you feel marked your time at Warmbra? Yeah, I'd have to actually come back to the support staff. I mean, it's not only the, I mean, an educational journey isn't only about the engagement with the material or the engagement with the professor or teachers. It's also the support you get from an institution as a whole. And um, as an adult learner, full-time worker, I embarked on this program and then after a couple of months, I ended up uh, pregnant with twins. And the support I got from the staff in helping me uh, cope with it, talking with me about the possibilities of how we could go forward. Because of course, at a certain moment, when you're going to deliver twins, it's a bit impossible to also continue with work. So I think for me, it was definitely that holistic um, approach to to really helping you and being there for you. So I think for me that that that, that kind of sums it up was the, the Warrenborough experience. In terms of your career development, how do you feel the programme helped you reach your overall career goals? Ironically enough, I was teaching at a university and I was teaching corporate social responsibility and um, yeah, although I had a lot of knowledge that I gained or um, got from, from, let's say, commercial work as well, this degree really, I was able to uh, utilise module by module and apply it immediately in the classroom. So for me personally, it was indispensable wealth of knowledge that I could reshape and use to teach my own students. And without that, I don't think my classes would have been as interesting at all. So it almost felt like this program is tailor-made for me. Yeah. It, it, it was unbelievable timing, an unbelievable point in my career. Mm -hmm. And that also, also the first three modules were very philosophically based. And that is exactly what I was missing because um, teaching business ethics is very difficult if you don't have those foundation of ethics. Yeah. And I really didn't have that. And after doing those first three introductory modules, um, I got an amazing drive to go further and learn more and more about it. So I did way more than the course asked of me. And that really gave me a proper understanding of the grounds, arguments, grounds, foundations for actually getting students on board on why this is such an important topic, especially back, back then between the years of 2005, 2010. So I think that for, for me, um, yeah, 
without it, I just, I, I wouldn't have been able to reach the goals that I was able to reach with it. So I was in a lucky position to be able to apply immediately yeah. what I was learning and, and play with it and see others learn from it as well. So in, in effect, I don't think I was the only one doing the masters because every student that sat in my classroom was getting part of it back immediately. Current role with Education Portfolio Manager, what specific skills have you been able to transfer from your MA course? My previous job was, uh, I had spent 17 years as a senior lecturer at an international business school. I'm now living in yet another country, a different country, and um, I'm working for a different um, university in a different area. So it's very engineering education, engineering industrial projects. Mm -hmm. And uh, because it's such a topical master's, and our sole focus is on the responsible use of resources, both from a production and a uh, consumption side. So the things that I've learned, although the setting has changed, the fundamentals haven't. So I'm constantly still able to apply models or ideas from that in the, the projects that I'm working on now and also bring in that different perspective. So for me, it's um, the kind of multidisciplinary approach because I'm not a, I don't have a technical background. So it's really nice in the projects that I, I manage, which is 12 educational projects. I'm able to bring in that perspective that I gained there and have since grown as well, of course, from the experiences of applying, adapting. So it's still very much, uh, a key success factor in what I'm doing right now. Is what advice would you give current and future students who are working to study? That would be a good one. And, and of course, and be, being, being, uh, having been a teacher for so long, I think the, the most best advice I can give is, you know, failing to plan is planning to fail. And with uh, studies like this, you, especially what I did, which is distance learning, you really have to come up with a good plan and map that out so that you go through the course at the pace or the degree at the pace that you want to go through. And that way you can maximize the amount you get out of it. Whereas uh, without a plan, I know it from myself and I know it from having taught for so long, you have a tendency to leave everything to the last moment. And then you're not making the most out of the experience. So as I said, you know, failing to plan is planning to fail. So really sit down. And I mean, Warmbor are there to help you. So you're not on your own either. So come up with a good plan and you will be successful. Just build in a little bit of room for eventualities and get <laughs> That was very true. That's great advice. Thank you very much. That was so amazing. The Warmbor Echo.